Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Construction Simulator with the Spaceport Expansion DLC. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe for this and many more videos. Um, I want to say that I find <laughs> I was scouring the map all night last night, and I finally found the last um, collect. I think this is the last collectible. It was right here at the um, the building material dealer the entire time, along with this little lizard. Twenty have twenty, and that's it. That's all. I. That's all that happens. No. Like you don't get anything. Wow. I thought I would get like an awesome space rocket or something. Okay, well anyway, we are gonna get started on this next contract. Actually, wait a second. Before we do that, I think, yeah. Can I do this on a high? Oh, it's not gonna matter. Low, medium, or high. Um, I'm gonna accept this contract. And then how do I make How do I make that the active job? Do I do... Oh, track contract. There we go. Um, load the damaged pipe. All right. Where is my flatbed crane? We're going to start off with pipeline repairs first. And then we'll do the other one. <laughs> I, I promise. We're ne we're just never gonna get that. The other uh, the other job done. The warehouse. Yeah. See, we could have like transported in those those tanks and the pipes and okay and we gotta load another damaged pipe We gotta go all the way up there, and we're gonna have to drive manually. Unhook. Yeah, neither one of these pipes is gonna like this very much. Gosh, a lot of people have asked, um, Brad, what are you going to do after, you know, now that you've completed the Spaceport Expansion DLC? Um, I'm actually going to be going back to the European map. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to be going back to the European map. Uh, I think let's just go get the big tra uh, tractor. because this this other one's just not going to work. What? Now, 
Interesting. Okay. I'm going to try to drive this one all the way down. This one actually looks like it might stay, stay put. I don't know. I'm holding my breath going around those corner corners. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. What the heck? Do they have silage pits back there or something? all that is that like garbage no it's just a top a tarp on top of something that's weird I think it's silage probably um I probably should put him at the building materials dealer let's let's just Fast travel it up there. Switch back over to the big tractor and then we can just teleport since we've got the pipe locked in. Great. Oh, there looks like there's two good pipe elements right there. I wonder if we will have to pick those up. Hmm. Yep. All right. Well, we're 50%, so we probably just have to put these two pieces in place and then we'll be done. That would be my guess. Uh, was way off there. Alright. Nope. 
Yep. Well, actually, yes. Yep. There we go. Zoom in a little bit here. Nice. I thought that was going to be kind of janky, but it actually ended up being fine. with the foreman and we're done that was easy I'm gonna skip it all right all right so At our new job site, we're going to have um, the removal of the stuff, right? The top stuff. <laughs> Topsoil removal. I forget how deep this is going to go down. I don't think it's going to be too far, but this will probably take the rest of this episode. Because if it's anything like the other uh, warehouse... We're going to have those concrete footers, and, you know, it's probably going to be about as thick as that, as those footers. Well, we're at 4% already, so that's moving pretty good. Um, empty that.
nine percent. Ten percent. Well, at least this isn't like some of the other jobs where it's like two scoops per percent or five or seven or 27. I'm probably going to have launch pad flashbacks for the rest of my life because of all that digging. That was a lot of digging. Okay, the sun's getting ready to go down here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually kind of comforted in knowing that um, we only have to do 100 scoops on this one, on this job, and we're already 13 in. I want to get enough room. Come on now. I want to get enough room where I can just um, park the dump truck down here with me in the in the dugout area. Because then it'll just move a lot faster. All right, we're going into night. What did I just do? We'll go to morning. Morning plus one. percent coming soon <clears throat> yeah so next time I'm gonna next time I empty we'll reposition the dump truck down here All right, there's 20%.
All right. Twenty five per cent. Uh oh. We're going to have to reposition again here in just a sec. Try to get back into this corner here, kind of. Kind of like that. Coming up to 30%. Thirty-one percent. 
see, this isn't so bad. We're almost a third of the way through. You guys are like, Brad, it's bad. We're gonna back over here now. Heck, that was like a thin area there. But that's okay. Try to get a better camera angle here. Yeah, this is working out just fine. Probably gonna have to reposition the dump truck again here. Let's dig this out a little more. Okay, right there should be pretty good.
So we'll start digging out towards the boundary here. Forty-six percent, almost halfway done. See, this isn't too bad. Forty-nine, so we're almost, we're pretty much halfway done, pretty much. Might as well, exact same thing. Now we're halfway done. bucket was full. I didn't realize it was full. Because I wasn't looking at it. Okay, so I can probably go down this side. Honestly, that's not really even necessary. Fifty-seven. Oh, I was gonna look and see how much time I had left. Oh, 35 minutes is how long we've been going for, give or take some seconds. I thought we'd be over like 40 or 45 minutes by now.
Okay, let's move this over here again <clears throat> and we'll we'll start working down this way. Perfect scoop. Sixty seven per cent. We'll kind of dig this area out and then we'll back the truck up a little bit more, the dump truck up a bit more. Probably do that now, it's not going to affect this too much. Seventy one. Get in here behind the truck. Right there. Seventy 
So this morning, we had some, uh, we had a tornado watch, actually, and um, I, w I got up about, oh, I don't know what time it was. I went to bed really early last night, like a little after midnight, maybe. Eh, maybe it was later than that. Maybe it was like 12.30 a.m. or something. Well, anyway, um, I went to bed, and then I woke up. Not really sure if something woke me up or if I was having a strange dream or whatever it was. But anyway, I woke up and I decided to uh, look at the weather to see what the weather was doing. Because, you know, obviously when there's a t tornado watch, you're a little bit on edge. And maybe that's why I woke up because I wanted to see uh, kind of like I had woken up slightly. But then I just wanted to see what the you know what the status of the weather was and so i went into the living room and i turned the the tv on it was 4 30 a.m and of course the news comes on at 4 you know our local news channels start up at 4 30 and you know they're just basically talking thunder lightning and gusty winds it was pretty windy then um, I went out on my front deck and, uh, well, I don't have a front deck, it's my only deck. I went out on my deck and, um, and I mean, it was like really warm. Um, I think it was 71 degrees outside, which is pretty crazy considering like, you know, just a couple years ago we had like a bunch of snow on the ground the same time of year anyway yeah it was like really warm but it was windy and those are usually you know tornado conditions you can really have some pretty darn severe weather when it's warm and super windy like that the other thing is, is behind, well, it, that's a cold front that's moving in, and it's a huge temperature change. So, I mean, just think about it, like 4.30, 5 a.m., the temperature is, you know, 71 degrees, and now, like right now, let's see, it's 5.30 p.m., and it is 33 degrees. That's a huge temp, you know, that's 40 diff, you know, almost 40 degrees difference. And, you know, the span of, you know, 12-ish hours. It's pretty crazy. Oh, wow, the sun's almost going to go down again. I'm like, why can't I see anything? And I'm like, oh, yeah, those are called shadows, Brad. But anyway, we didn't have any tornadoes, um, just some rain, some thunder kind of kept me awake and then, you know, got up, had to eat and drink and all that fun stuff. And I've actually had a headache the rest of the day, so I'm drinking as much coffee as I can to try to help me with that, which is probably not the correct, you know, medical choice. Yeah, coffee, coffee solves all our problems. Let's just do the corner down here. It's closer. What the heck? Oh.
Nope, other way. Oh, let's jump out. No, let's jump out. Take our coffee break. Ninety percent. So nine or ten more scoops left, and we'll be done. We will have made it through yet another foundation topsoil removal. can't see what I am doing. Ninety-six. Four more scoops. Three bats. <laughs> okay, sorry. All the all the little kids aren't gonna get that. All you old fogies out there, you will totally get that. <laughs> Ninety-nine. All right, so one more scoop, and we will be ready to put, to place the concrete beams. And the pallet of pallets, plural, since there's two, of concrete form work. All right. Okay. 
I'm just gonna park these guys over next to the jungle here. Oh, apparently, um, people have been telling me that there's like monkeys in the jungle and other wildlife. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I saw some, I thought I saw some birds earlier. You guys see anything? Other than the row ads? Yeah, I got nothing. Oh. All right, flatbed truck with crane, and we're already down here, or up here at the building material dealer, so we need two concrete beams. I'm gonna put those on first, because those are longer, and we'll go back in, and then we will put on these two, because they are shorter, just like that, and then we can make, make it in one trip. Actually, we need to put our tower crane up. So let's do that. These are like walls. These are wall forms. Because where's the rebar? These are gonna be like the stand, the, probably like the vertical beams, if I had to guess. They're concrete beams, hmm. Okay, clear the construction sites. Oh my god. Wow. Look at all the look at all the concrete pouring we have to do. No, not not you. How much time do I have left? Oh gosh, we've only got like three minutes. Well, we'll be able to get at least some of the concreting done. I don't know if we'll be able to get it all done.
Yeah, we're gonna have to dig all the holes next. Great, that's as far as we're going. Oh, shoot. All right, um, I thought I told you to turn off. There we go. Well, we're going to have to get our um, drilling rig, which I think I actually put into storage, which I did. I didn't actually expect us to need this. <clears throat> so let's at least get it transported up. But um, I feel like we got a, you know, a lot done. We actually completed a job, even though it was a really short job. Um, with the uh, pipe repair. And then... We did the most, you know, painful part... Of this new job, which is, you know, digging out the uh, topsoil for the foundation. I, you, you guys know I always love that. And so we will come back in the next episode and we will get these four holes drilled and then we'll get all of the concrete poured and, um, and we'll be all set to go. So thank you all for joining me for another episode of Construction Simulator. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe for this and many more videos. I'm Bradham73. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.